The CDC has put out a press release that an Amish farm has recalled its eggs, probably forced to recall its eggs due to a salmonella outbreak that CNN is reporting basically exactly as the CDC says it happened. I have found this story very interesting for two reasons we're going to discuss in the video after we go through exactly what CNN is reporting, what the CDC is saying. Number one, we've talked a lot about Amish farms, Amos Miller's Amish farm and the government bureaucracy. I think it's the nicest way to say it that they're dealing with and questions around the freedom to farm organically and to sell your food without a lot of government intrusion. Of course, the government says that their, their uh, oversight is for public safety. Of course, I've had plenty of people on the show that have questioned that. So we're going to talk about what happened and then another Amish farm that's dealing with this. And then also how the media just goes lockstep with this. And there's so many questions still to be asked, not the least of which is that this particular farm, according to its website, is organic pastured chickens, the kind of farm that would have a very low likelihood of having a salmonella outbreak. And frankly, I have had farmers on this show who have talked about being pegged and accused of a salmonella outbreak. And they were the ones that then had to go get their eggs tested, get a second opinion, you know, run through the gamut and prove themselves innocent. And they did. But if they hadn't done that, if they hadn't gone through the roller coaster of fighting the government, they would still be known as having caused a salmonella outbreak. And so I don't know what happened in this particular case. I just know that I have a lot of questions about it. And I know that I'm not going to get my answers from CNN. This is the headline. Dozens of people sick across several states and salmonella outbreak linked to recalled eggs. Now, first off, they don't ever say in this that the eggs, I, I'm sure there is a forced recall. I don't, I, you know, maybe it's like, okay, you better recall it. The government says, and the farmer says, okay, okay. Cause we don't want any trouble, but they don't explain a whole lot about like, they, they make it look like the farmers admitting guilt when they say stuff like this without explaining what's behind all that. Like did, did the farmer say anything about, oh yeah, you're right. We did this because they don't have anything from the farmer at all in the article. I did call Milo's Poultry Farms and left a message. I would love it if they would come on the show and talk about this. I find this issue very interesting and I'd like to know what really happened. But the thing that caught my eye immediately reading this article was organic Amish produced and how the carton says our eggs are produced on Amish family farms and uh, they're managed humanely, uh, harmony with organic standards. They have access to outdoors, green grass as much as possible fed a vegetarian diet that is also GMO free. Okay. This is what CNN is reporting. 65 people in nine States have been sickened by a salmonella outbreak linked to recalled eggs. The U S centers for disease control and prevention said Saturday of 63 cases with information available. 24 have been hospitalized. No deaths have been reported. The CDC says the outbreak may be difficult to treat with commonly recommended antibiotics. Lab tests showed the bacteria is resistant to naledixic acid and ciproflaxin. Illnesses started from May 23rd to August 10th. Now, this is how I know this is just straight from the government's mouth. This is a picture. Okay, this is the other one. Tony's Fresh Market uh, is one of the egg cartons. And then this is the Milo's Poultry Farms, okay, which I think Milo's Poultry Farms sells to Tony's Fresh Market. So it all goes back to Milo's. But if you look in the caption, it says Food and Drug Administration is the credit. And what does it say here under this one for Tony's? Food and Drug Administration. So they got the pictures from the FDA. And the whole thing is from the CDC because this is the CDC. Uh, this is the CDC press release. It just has all the pointers. 65 people from nine states have gotten sick from strain of salmonella. 24 people have been hospitalized. No deaths have been reported. The outbreak may be difficult to treat with some commonly recommended antibiotics. It's exactly what I just read you. It's word for word. But, I mean, maybe the words are switched around a little bit, but it's almost exactly the same. It's even in the same order. They don't even they don't even try to hide it. That you know, at least put like the bottom paragraph on the top so that we don't know that you're you're just copying and pasting. Now, I say this as somebody who totally did this 
in the TV business. When I was in the TV business, I absolutely took the government at face value. I thought they were here to protect us. I totally screwed a doctor by accepting the narrative passed down by the Department of Health and went on live television at 11 o'clock at night. We couldn't get a statement from the doctor, of course, because it was 11 o'clock at night. But we didn't think we needed it because we knew what the health department was saying. And the health department wouldn't lie. So we just went on air and completely defamed this guy. And uh, the next day I got a call from his son who was not happy, but I was listening. And I said, well, let me interview the patients and your dad. And let's, you know, let's see what really is going on here. And I was blown away. And that was, that was probably the beginning of the end of my, my trust in these government agencies to be looking out for us and giving us objective information because I was already in the natural health world at that point in time. And so I was open and ready for that kind of message. And then when I saw it play out myself and I saw how I participated in it, man, I'll tell you, it was a life-changing experience. Okay. So we're going to go back to look exactly at this farm. I'm going to take you to the farm's website, show you a little bit more in that CNN article. Before we do that though, if you're interested in dental health, brain health, just immune health, generally speaking, this is my favorite product. Really. I mean, I have a lot of favorite products. This is probably like my favorite product. Go to greenpasture.org, promo code Allison, check out all the products if you want. They've got lots of great stuff there, but I've been taking the fermented cod liver oil, concentrated butter oil blend for over 10 years. It helped me heal cavities naturally. I used to get cavities all the time. I went to the dentist exactly as I should every six months. They would look at me and be like, we got to do a couple more fillings. I get a couple more fillings. I come back six months later. Same thing. This stuff is amazing. It's fermented cod liver oil. So it's fermented. So it's better and easier for your body to absorb and digest. And then it's concentrated butter oil that comes from cows on spring grasses. And it's what Dr. Weston A. Price, basically the father of natural dentistry, said we should be taking, how we should mix it for really optimal health. If you're somebody who struggles, like I said, with cavities or all kinds of uh, maybe autoimmune issues like chronic fatigue, uh, fibromyalgia, that kind of stuff, this stuff is just a power packed food item. It's not really a supplement. It's just power packed to help you with all kinds of stuff. We take it every day in our family. Could not say enough about it. Greenpasture.org, promo code Allison, you get 10% off your order. All right. So going back to the article, let's look at that one more time and I'll show you again. So we got the eggs that are listed uh, with a picture taken directly from the FDA. And, you know, they say that the eggs are labeled Milo's Poultry Farm or Tony's Fresh Market. They should all, uh, all egg types, sizes and expiration dates are included in the recall. The recalled egg should be thrown away or returned to the store. People should wash items and surfaces that have touched the eggs. And then it has the symptoms of salmonella. Okay. So you saw that. So let's go back to the this, the CDC press release. Okay. Um, now they're saying FDA inspected Milo's poultry farms and collected samples. And the FDA's analysis showed outbreak strain of salmonella was found in the packing facility and the hen laying house. Okay. Now that's the problem though. Is it there? I, I, from just, I'm not a scientist. Okay. So I'm not trying to pretend like I'm a scientist. And I know even exactly what happened behind the scenes here, but the problem is from what I understand from other farmers who have dealt with this stuff, this is not this is not proof that the salmonella outbreak came from this particular place. And like I said, I have had other guests on the show that have been blamed for, I think theirs was E. coli, actually. Blame for E. coli. And they had to go through this whole like Iron Man challenge to prove themselves innocent, which they eventually did. And, you know, maybe in this particular case that will happen. Or maybe these, you know, maybe there's something nefarious going on behind the scenes. Like, I have no idea. My point in showing you this is like, okay, this is happening. We've talked about other Amish farms that have been in this situation, getting the government, you know, acts coming down on them. And uh, also, I just want to show you how the media uh, pushes these narratives with really no skepticism whatsoever, because I'm showing you whether you take this or any other CDC press release, like everything we saw over COVID. It's exactly the same way. You know, don't eat the recalled eggs, throw them away. Wash items and services that may have touched the recalled eggs. I just read you that directly from CNN. Um, and then it has the symptoms. This is exactly what they had at CNN. The symptoms start, you know, uh, experience diarrhea, fever, stomach cramps. <laughs> so so it's just, it's, it's and there's nothing in here. You know, there's the Birkenstock ad. 
Anyone want to buy me some Birkenstocks for my birthday? It's coming up on Thursday. I need a new pair. My my current pair, I've worn the soul thin. Anyway, th there's no, um, there's not even a sentence that says we tried reaching out to the farm to get their perspective on it. There's not even a sentence that says that. Let's take a look at the farm, shall we? Let's take a look and you you be the judge of what you think. And before we do that, please, you want to send me some seeds? See, some seeds. The growing season is about to start here in Florida. We've got uh, squash and cucumbers and peppers and tomatoes and uh, melons already sprouting. So we're very excited about that. Send me a donation for the show if you'd like, a note of encouragement, whatever. I love hearing from you guys. P.O. Box 3355, Danell in Florida, 34432. So send me some mail. Love to get that. And also, if you want to be on my editorial board and support the show that way, it's five bucks a month. You go one-on-one -on -one with the most censored people on the internet. You just put your questions in ahead of time for interviews. we got the live chat going on over there. That's allisonmorrow.locals.com. And some good comments here already, like DMC. As long as germ theory is accepted as fact, germ games will continue. And Steve, possibly CNN acting as stenographer. And uh, Zoji, this makes my blood boil. So yeah, good stuff. And then I will go through the live chat for supporters only in a second. Okay, I uh, want to get right to Milo's. Okay, so this is um, Milo's. I wanted to look up first. This is the About product. So they have organic certified, state licensed and inspected. Okay, so they're an organic farm. They're certified organic. Their products include non-GMO, cage-free, free-range chicken eggs, grass-fed beef, quality organic eggs, non-GMO duck eggs, and a cattle catalog available to order other natural and organic items. Okay, the testimonials. If you you know you know let's just look at some pictures. Okay, so th let's go to the home. This is here's some of the chickens. We're looking at the chickens. Um, this is their house where they package and wash the eggs. I believe I'm guessing on that one, but they said they have their own you know packing facility basically on site. And they started in 2004. They're in Wisconsin. Now, okay, this this is interesting. And I don't know what this is. If this is part of the chicken house, and so they're inside. And maybe maybe they're not advertising totally accurately. I don't know on the other pictures because I saw them out on the grass. See, like they could go out here. So they're in kind of a chicken yard, okay? And there can be issues. There can be issues with chicken yards like this. I would that's happened in the past. So like I said, I'm not saying they're innocent or guilty. I'm just wanting to show everybody as much as I can about this particular farm, about the CNN article, about the CD. You can make your own informed decision about it. And like I said, I did call Milo's to get a statement. Okay. So, um, cause you'll see, like we do have chickens in this picture. They look like they're on grass, but you know, who knows, who knows? I'm not trying to defend them. I don't know for sure. I just think they're okay. They're certified organic. They're an Amish farm. And uh, I want to show you the testimonials about um, who they are and what they do. Okay. So it's like, uh, these are not my normal eggs as where I purchase is nowhere near where I live in Detroit. But guess what trip I'll be looking for as long as I remain in Michigan. The eggs are hard and steady. I like to eat my eggs raw most times. I've eaten expensive $7 carton eggs that are pasture-raised and though good, Vila's Amish produced eggs are oh my God, good. The flavor is unmatched anywhere. Now I'm addicted to the damn eggs and get can't buy any other kind anywhere else. Uh, we live in Janesville, bought Milo's egg from the Woodman Thick Shell with yellow yolk. We love it. Teresa, love this BBN place. So amazing. Get all our eggs and more than we ever need. Wonderful and very fresh. Uh, Sam, come get your eggs here. It's the place to put all your eggs in one basket. And um, yeah, just more people saying eggs are awesome. Rich yellow yolks, thick shells. What I love about Milo wrapper egg case, there's tons of information about the product I plan to buy regularly. So anyway, none of that, of course, in the CNN article. And, um, you know, here's more pictures of the farm. So we'll just go through it. Okay. So it says Milo's poultry farm and here's the pasture. Here they are. This looks more pasture-y. Okay. So maybe they do both. You know, they've got a big hen house and then they get to go out in a chicken tractor and there's the fencing. There's the pasture. There's some in there where they lay. There's more outside. There's more inside. There's more inside. Okay. And this says, um, uh, we are an Amish family farm in rural Wisconsin. We live on an organic farm with our four children. It is the home farm, so it has two houses, and my parents also live here. 
state inspected facility on the farm where we wash, grade, and package the eggs. My egg business started in 2004 in an old wooden granary with a small flock of chickens. Okay. Um, our hens are all fed the same in omega-3 diet, which includes flaxseed. So the color of the shell has nothing to do with the quality inside. The quality size, inside color, and taste of the egg will vary with seasons. So they give you a lot of, a lot of information. Um, says, I see definite pecking order. Talks about that. More timid hen produce a paler yolk. That's interesting. I didn't know that. And um, they sell a lot of eggs off the farm. Uh, sell other organic foods out of many retail store. So. You know, they just talk about, oh, even in winter, fresh air and sunshine help produce richer eggs. In spring, you should see richer yolks. In summer, you may see paler yolks. I rotate them between different pens to keep them on fresh grass. Okay, so they're saying that's that's what they do. They, they rotate them between different pens and keep them on fresh grass. Okay, so uh, anyway, you tell me, what do you think about Milo's Poultry Farms? I still have not gotten a call back from them yet, but the whole thing is very interesting. Now, one thing that I found, um, <laughs> let me just, this is funny. Don's wife, Allison, is it safe to send you cash through the mail? <laughs> as long as the IRS isn't watching this. No, just kidding. Yes, you can say plenty of people send cash and it's fine. Um, <laughs> let me, let me go back. Don's wife, our government has become so intensely corrupt. And then Zoji, I hate CDC, FBI, USDA, FTC, Department, all of them. I mean, they're not doing themselves any favors. And like I said, I don't, um, you know, I don't know exactly what's going on in this particular case, but I think it's worth pointing out how the media reports on issues like this, because like, do you, do you think that CNN like genuinely cares that this particular Amish farm is going to sue them for defamation? Of course not. Do you think they would take a little bit more care with an article about someone they were concerned might sue them for defamation, somebody with a lot of money and power, of course they would. So it just, it, you know, it shows like, hey, there are certain, you know, there are certain risks, I guess, if they call it that, that, you know, they just don't care about taking when it comes to reporting on stuff, they don't feel like there's going to be any consequence. And um, yeah, and I mean, I totally thought, I think that's probably partially what it is. Like, I probably thought that, you know, if we just reported the government, like it was a safety thing, you know, we're safe, we're safe flying under the government's radar. We're just saying what the government says. And there's no liability there because the government told us. And so the government's not going to come after us. And like, we'll win a lawsuit because the government told us, you know, what were we supposed to do? The government told us. All right. Hey, the government's not telling you to do this, but I am. Go to Allison Wine Promo. Join my wine club. You'll get amazing wines every three months. You probably, if you're paying attention, just saw a video with Diego Samper, who is the guy who travels all over the world to the most remote regions to find the best wine available from Chile, Spain, Argentina, Italy. Awesome, amazing family vineyards, hand-picked grapes. And you'll be in a club where you basically, you get whatever wines we're all getting every six months. Sorry, every three months, you get six bottles. You'll always have a present ready to go. You'll have a great bottle of wine. Never have to worry about it. And these are wines that all come with a story. All of them have just amazing uh, character and just, just, uh, a history to them. You know, this, you can't get this wine in a grocery store. There's, there, there's very limited really batches of these anywhere And Bonner wine. Like the, one of the main reasons they started is because the owner was living, I believe in Argentina and realized there was like no way for these small wine wineries, what vineyards, family farms, to make it to the United States. And so he, he would just like scoop up a few and get them directly to Americans, but you can't get this at the grocery store because they don't make enough quantity. So they, they're just amazing. They're clean wines. They were all picked for the stuff I like, which is just like fresh, clean, um, uh, you know, traditionally produced and uh, not, you know, just not mass industrial wines, allisonwinepromo.com.